G'day guys, this is Craig here bringing you this week's workout challenge. So this week I thought I'd set up everyone with a bit of an abdominal assault. So look forward to uh, testing those cores and strengthen them up. So let's get straight into it. Alright, first up we've got BOSU ball crunches. So if you've got a BOSU ball like this, great. Got access to one in your gym, awesome. Normally, if you've got access in the gym, you can do that with a cable machine. Here's the cable machine behind you, pulling up with the cable connected to weights. For this point, I'm doing it with a dumbbell. I have a dumbbell placed behind my head as I go up and down, adding out a bit of extra weight or a bit more resistance on the core. If you don't have access to any of those, you can do just standard crunches on a BOSU ball. Otherwise, if you've got none of that at all, it's a traditional 90-90 crunch, so legs at 90 degrees. So bottom parts of your legs parallel with the floor in a 90 degree bend. All right, so I'll give you a bit of demonstration. So, BOSU ball crunches with a dumbbell, but on the front of the dump of the uh, BOSU ball, leaning back, grab your dumbbell with both hands, and then going up and really feel it through that core. All right, so another good point with this one is you want your feet anchored because you're lifting a bit of weight behind your head. Typically, your feet are gonna lift up and you're not gonna get the full range of motion going through your core. So I've got my son here standing on my feet to weigh them down a bit, just to give me that resistance, hold me in place. Hopefully I don't lift him off the ground, we'll see. <laughs> you ready, bud? So up, all the way to your head to your knees, back down again. You can rest the weight on the floor in between if you need to. Straight back up. Alright. 15 of those if you can, otherwise as many as you can do before moving on to the next exercise. So the second exercise we're going to do in this set is hanging leg raises. So, as you can see, playground monkey bars will do. You've got a chin up bar, great. Basically, hanging from that, legs dangling, and then raising your knees up into your chest as high as you can. Again, going with that for 15 reps if you can. Now, as an alternative to that one, don't have access to a chin up bar, monkey bars, anything like that, or if it's simply too hard to be holding yourself up doing those bicycle crunches are a good alternative so what you can do for that all right so i'm saying as an alternative for hanging leg raises bicycle crunches are a great alternative so for that one down on the ground in a similar position to the russian twist you want to be leaning back legs up so you should be feeling in your core when you're in position hands behind your head and you want to be bringing your elbow to the opposite knee. Alright, the so right elbow to left knee, and then the other way. Back and forward. So just like you're pedaling a bike, really. Alright, so the third exercise we're doing in this set is a knee in plank pike. So what you want to do, is get yourself in a traditional plank position, so elbows on the ground, elbows directly under your shoulders, toes on the floor, squeezing your glutes to give you that nice straight line. So you should have a neutral back, it should be straight line from your shoulders all the way down to your heels. From there, what you want to do, lift your butt up, one knee in, back out, butt back down and tense. Up, other knee, back out, back down again. Alright, going for those, 15 per leg if you can, otherwise just as many as you can do, before moving on again. Again, but up, knee in, back down. Up, knee in, back down. Alright. Alright, next exercise we got is the Russian twist. Now, you can do this with 
any sort of weight you got accessible to you. If you've got a medicine ball, that will do the job. Weight plate, otherwise a dumbbell. So whatever you can do to add a bit more resistance, great. Otherwise, if not, just holding your hands together with the motion will do the job. So what you want to do, heels up off the ground, bend in your knees, lean back a bit so you can already start to feel it in your core. Grabbing that weight in between your hands. So whether it's a dumbbell, you're going to be a similar position. Weight plate like this, medicine ball, similar position with your hands. Then going side to side, passing it in and up, lifting your upper body as you go backwards and forwards. You want to keep that up. Going for 15 per side, so a total of 30. Going back and cross if you're counting each side. Otherwise, as many as you can. Okay, so the last exercise in the set is an RKC plank. So this is a bit harder than the standard plank. So if you can't do this one, or it's a bit too hard for you, just a standard plank is going to be fine as a substitute. What you want to do, standard plank position. So once again, forearms on the ground, elbows under your shoulders, toes on the ground, tense those glutes to get a nice neutral back position, nice straight line. Now for the RKT plank, what you want to do, you basically want to tense everything. So you're really wanting to try and drive your shoulders down into the ground, trying to really pull your legs up towards your shoulders and tensing those glutes. So that everything tenses. You probably notice after only a few seconds, you might be already starting to shake. I know I do. That's a good indication you've got it right. Just adds that extra resistance. So you want to try and hold that for 30 seconds to a minute, if you possibly can. And then we can repeat the exercises, see if you can get through three sets. <laughs> 